right here on Mickey B's Jukebox Review on Madhouse TV. And of course, we're very excited tonight because we have a great group that got started back there in Astoria, Queens. They'll be sitting in with me. And uh, of course, tonight we're also going to be talking about the great rock and roll groups of all-time rock and roll as we usually do. Of course, tonight is a great night too because we've got the New York Yankees competing against the Baltimore Orioles, but I guess you're not watching it if you're watching me, so that's okay. <laughs> Let me introduce, of course, the Devotions guys. Always a pleasure to see Mickey, you. Mickey, good to see you. Good, yeah. to, see good you. to be here. How many guys are Yankee fans here? A lot of Yankee fans here? Oh, yeah. One Yankee, two right. Yankees, three Yankees. What do we got? Mets. Mets and Yankee. Electric fan. Yeah, my condolences. Electric I'm fan. a Mets fan, but it was like Yankee Man. That's all. Let me introduce the guys here tonight from the Devotion Al Vecchio. And, of course, Joe Spano, Neil O'Keefe, John Williams, Hello. and the Bobby Patron is here tonight. Bobby, always a pleasure seeing you because you play uh, keyboards not only with this group, but also Manhattan Skyline and do a fantastic job and also back me up with... Uh, and a lot of other Sharp, right? That's right. right. We, did the slow, we did the slow twisting. Slow, slow twisting. Et cetera, hey guys, et cetera. It's been an exciting uh, tour for you guys, right? I mean, you've been uh, around a long time. Of course, oh, yeah. got started back there with uh, Ray Sanchez, and I guess... Uh, Al, you could tell us a little bit about the history going back a little while, right? Well, when I was with the Devotions, Mickey, it was back in a lot of part of 64 into 65. And uh, Ray was in the Army. Ray was still in the Army. And uh, I had the privilege to sing with uh, the bass that was standing in for him. His name was Charlie Ferrara. And he was the bass that did Snow White, the follow-up to uh, Rip Van Winkle. Uh-huh. Well, and tell us a little bit about uh, when did you join the, uh, actually, the... Uh, I actually the got asked to join the... Uh, Ray put the... The group had went on the shelf for a couple of years, as mm -hmm. they say in the business. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess I was asked back in, in 1990, Ray started the devotions back up. And a lot of the original guys weren't around anymore. So uh, he knew Joe, because Joe and right. Ray had worked together uh, in the same company. And uh, he asked Al in and another gentleman by the name of Larry Galvin. And uh, Larry had to beg off because he had another job offer down in Florida. So he couldn't stay with the new devotions. So I was also a, another kid from Astoria, and I was asked to uh, take Larry's place. So I've been with the group since 1990. Now there's uh, some great pictures. Let's look at these pictures as they roll, and you guys can tell me a little bit about it. Let's watch this one right now on our screen. And this one you, we should see should probably be about the, mm -hmm. I guess that's the original group that's the original, Ray Sanchez original, and the guys. That's the early 60s. That's uh, the early 60s. Mm -hmm. And the next picture also I think would probably be the, uh, the group in the early 60s as well. Let's take a look at that. There you go. How's right. that one? Yeah. And Ray Ch Sanchez, the bass of boom, boom. He's right in the middle. He's, He's right, right in the middle. In the middle. He's smack in the middle. Yeah. Exactly. This third picture we see is uh, another great picture, and it happens to be, let's take a look at that. Here it comes. And that's you. <laughs> All right, and I love those jackets, the nice blue jackets, the yellow ties and all, and that's, of course, the devotions of today, right? Today. Mm -hmm. You know, we're featuring today some of the great groups of rock and roll history, and when you talk about a, a group like Earl Lewis and the Channels, I mean, mm -hmm. they gave so much. Uh, matter of fact, I had spoken to uh, Earl uh, today on, on the telephone. He's doing fabulous, and hopefully one day, yeah. maybe we we'll get mm -hmm. him back out there again. Yeah, yeah, yeah I hope so. so. Yeah. But Earl was one of those uh, leaders of, of rock and roll that got started back at about 10 years old as a, a newspaper boy, delivering papers and, and writing songs, and, uh, and did so. He was great. He was absolutely great. Everybody loved him. So let's, let's go to, here's a, here's a rare clip of, of course, the channels right here in the Mickey B. Jukebox Review with Earl. <laughs>
better than I do, you know, and that, that makes me feel really bad. Give me that chord. I'm Earl Lewis in the channel's right here on the Mickey B Jukebox Review on Madhouse TV. How'd you guys love Earl? Huh? Is oh, Earl, great. Is he what fantastic? Else? We miss him. Yeah. We, we miss him. He's a gentleman yeah. in this He's business. Great yes. Great guy, great gentleman. Real gentleman. And, uh, the stage yep. is a little yep. less empty without him. Yeah. And you know, Billy Dawn Smith, who um, uh, was on with us uh, only about two weeks ago, another, another great gentleman, told a unique story about Johnny Maestro, who again was another fabulous guy, and always said that when Billy Dawn was going over any songs with him, Johnny never changed it, did it exactly the way he said it, was always courteous, and, uh, and that's what that guy was about. Same thing with Earl Lewis, mm -hmm. sure. mm -hmm. real gentleman of business. Yeah. Joe Spano? Yes, sir. Give us a little history. You go back and not only yeah, with I go the back. Uh, yeah. I got involved with the group, I guess it must have been also about 1990. Uh, Ray Sanchez and I worked uh, in Con Ed together, uh -huh. and we were friends, and I used to always tell him, Ray, I sing, I sing. He said, yeah, 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 one day. So one day he decided he was putting the devotions back together again. So he called me, he said, well, let me see what you got. Come on down, and I came down, and... Uh, I rehearsed with the guys, and then the rest was history. And they gave me the green card to cross the bridge from the Bronx to go into Queens. And that's how you got started. That's huh? it. That's it. Yep. Yeah. And Joe Williams, what about you? John. John Williams. <laughs> John. John, Joe, but just don't call me Ray late for this. <laughs> well, believe it or not, uh, my wife and Neil's wife uh, went to Bushwick High School together. Arlene is Neil's wife. Uh huh. And I was at practice with a, with a choir that I sang with at church, and I got a phone call. They said, would you like to try out for Neil, with Neil's group, The Devotions? Of course, one of the members, unfortunately, Joey... Uh, Joe Del Pizzo. Del Pizzo. Del Pizzo. Yeah. And uh, they were looking for somebody to fill in. And I mm -hmm. said, you kidding me? I was like overjoyed. So I, I went down there. We gelled so much. These guys are great. They're like a family to me. And I joined them about 2000, 2001. 2000. Yeah, 2000. Yeah. 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 And I've been having a ball ever since. I love it. Well, we saw that back. It was Sachem High School, right? Where you did the Sachem uh, North. Yeah. Sachem Benefit? North yeah. High School. Benefit, Benefit. It was in. Yeah. Uh, I'm all mixed up. Was it August? It was. It was yeah, August. Yeah, August. August. It was in August. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about uh, what had happened to your son. Oh well, uh, my son's life was tragically taken. He was shot, and uh, unjustly. Uh, it was an unjust reason. They did catch the guys that did it, and John loved music very much. And to keep the music alive, we started a foundation called the John Williams Foundation. And uh, the money goes, the proceeds, all the proceeds go to any kid that wants to learn a musical instrument. Uh, they just apply. We've already given over $5,000 worth of instruments to school kids. Right. And one day, hopefully, one of them will be a success and we'll honor John with that. That's great. On his name. Now, is there a website that they could go to? People? Yes, uh, www.thejohnwilliamsfoundation.com. Oh, that's great. Absolutely great. Now, here's what I want to do. I mean, we always talk about the street corners. You know, this doesn't look like a street corner with a lamp in here. It looks like Mickey B's living room. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? But uh, I love the music. We love the a cappella sound. Uh, if you're going to have something done by a cappella or a little bit of music, that's fine. Uh, can we do something? Can we do a live here? Sure. sure. What would you what like do you to do? Guys, huh? Put something uh, together? Well, since yeah. I'm from the Bronx, why don't we do a Bronx song? Yeah, do a Bronx song. Want to do a Bronx song? Yeah, something yeah, by who? The, the, the Bronx. It's the only one that has right? Yeah, it's the only one that has the little Theon and the Belmont tune. I love that. All right. Yeah. What are you going to do? Like a Teenage Love or something like that? Well, how about I Wonder Why? I Wonder Why. Great song. I love that song. Okay. All set? Here they are. The Devotions. 
No, I love you like I do. No, I do. Don't know why I love you. Don't know why I care. I just want your love to share. I wonder why I love you like I do. Is it because I think you love me too? I wonder why I love you, love you like I do. I told my friend that we would never part. They left and said that you would break my heart. I wonder why I love you, love you like I do. When you're with me, I'm sure you're always true. When I'm away, I wonder what you do. I wonder why I love you, love you like I do. I wonder why I love you like I do. Is it because I think you love me too? I wonder why I love you, love you like I do. No, I do. Dum dum diddy dum dum diddy diddy dum diddy diddy dum 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 diddy dum dum diddy diddy dum diddy diddy dum 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 diddy dum dum diddy diddy dum diddy diddy dum dum oh Yes, back to the Bronx right six, here on the Mickey seven, B Jukebox Review. Of course, with the devotions and a great uh, rendition of uh, the song, I Wonder Why, by Dion and Belmont. A unique sound. I mean, those guys got started, Dion, back there, of course, in the Bronx, uh, yep. Belmont Avenue, and yep. Angel Carlo, and Freddie, and, of course, Dion. And what was remarkable about it, you recreated it here. Usually, you would have a five-man group, yes. a five-man right. group to mm -hmm. be able to do the bass, and then, of course, the harmony would be split if you're on yeah. four guys, yeah. but right. you guys... Manage what they around. what they yeah. created. You jumped around. We sing out of one size of our Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, we have, we have eight guys here today. Exactly. That's right. We, do. we got a little phone call coming in. Let's go to phone line. Let's find out who's out there. Hello, who's on the line? Hello, who's on the line? Tony Dano, Mick. Tony <laughs> hey, Dano. How are you doing, Tony? Good. Good. How's Manhattan skyline doing? Manhattan Skyline's doing good, thank God. All right, well, we got to get you up here shortly. You know that. Whenever you're ready. How do you like these guys, the devotions, well, huh? Well, that's what I call. I want to say hello to my good friends, hey, Joe. Tony. Tony. Hello, Tony. How are you, pal? Hey, Tony. Bobby and Cornelius. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not Cornelius Hop from the Marcellus, you know. I'll that's see you, Tony. Tony. <laughs> uh, but you enjoyed that sound? Did you enjoy I Wonder Why by Deanna Belmonts? I mean, it's not Deanna Belmonts, of course, the devotions. Very good, Mick. They Sounded did a great, great. job, right? Sounded Tony, what great. we're going to do is we're going to take a little break right now. We want to thank you for calling in on the Mickey B. Jukebox Review right here at Madhouse TV. And when we come back, we got some more from the devotions right after this. Don't go away.
Hi, this is Mickey B. Join me for my Saturday night disco fever dance party, Volume 2, Saturday, October 6, 8 p.m. at the Memorari Ballroom, 2183A Jackson Avenue, Seaford. Starring Line, Alicia, Barbara Roy, former lead singer of Ecstasy, Passion, and Pain, the Trick Shot Disco Orchestra, and DJ Ace playing all your favorite hits of the 70s. Five-hour disco party, full hot buffet, cash bar. For tickets and information, call 516-822-9612, 516-822-9612, or mickeyb.com. Sponsored by... Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail centre. Hot hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. See any discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, formulaautowash.com. Here on Mickey B's Jukebox Review on Madhouse TV, my special guest tonight are the Devotions. And, of course, the guys are having a little fun with the Prince of Rock and Roll. Bobby Patron, uh, you do the musical arrangements for the guys, right? Yes, that's right, Mick. Tell us, uh, how long have you been? Well, actually, you've been playing for since you were a kid, right? Uh, yeah, I started playing keyboard, uh, piano, uh, honky-tonk piano, classical organ when I was about 10. But I started off with Art Laurier. Maybe you guys remember Ar Artie Laurier. We got involved in about 1969, 1970 with um, Kathy Jean and the Roommates. Right. And then we formed Happy Days. And then we got involved with Neil Hollander and went out on the road. And then we uh, started doing all the uh, Royal New York doo-wop shows at Radio City, which I was musical director for for many years for Tony DeLauro. And I kind of worked with everybody. And uh, it was a lot of fun, I'll tell you. But I met, I met these guys because Joe Spano bought my parents' house in Garden mm -hmm. City <laughs> in 1977. 70, right. huh? And he always said to me, why don't you come, and, and come with the group and help us out? And I was always too busy with the other groups doing this, doing that. And then uh, something happened in my life around 2001, uh, somewhere over there. And uh, I finally went along with them just temporarily. Well, temp temporarily, I'm still here, so. <laughs> 12 years later. You know, you're right. So, uh, but uh, let me tell you, these guys are a great bunch of guys. They're clean, cut, always have a good word about them, and they're just brothers to me. And, uh, Likewise. That's my brother. Nice. How do you feel my about you? It's nice to be with them. Tell me a little bit about the song, Sentimental Reasons. Uh, it was there, was it the follow-up to... Uh, to uh, Rip Van Winkle? Actually, that was recorded before. That was recorded before. Before Rip Van Winkle. In 61. Uh -huh. yeah, 61. 1961. In 1961. Oh, both songs were recorded in 61. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the Sentimental Reasons was, was supposed to be the hit record. Yeah, the A side. And it yeah. turned out that that disc jockey in Pittsburgh, Porky Chedwick, said yeah. he could make any song a hit record. He kept right. posting. Right. And lo and behold, three years later, Rip Van Winkle became a hit mm -hmm. record. But it was also originally recorded in 1961. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's watch you guys up on the stage right now as we catch that uh, video of oh. Sentimental Reasons. Yeah. Here's the devotions. <laughs>
Love that sound right there. Of course, the devotions live on stage. Sentimental reasons. That's a great job, guys. Great Thank job. You. I love Beautiful it. song. Yes. Harmony sounds yeah. fantastic. Now, how many years have this group been together as the devotions? I mean, as, 20, as almost twenty-three. It's yeah. almost twenty-three yeah, years. Yes. And you've done a couple of CDs. Sure. You've so done a couple of C two yeah. CDs, yeah. which are which are great CDs. We'll talk uh, Thank you. more about that a little bit later on. But uh, you were telling me about uh, actually this group got started uh, before. You've been singing with the guys since you kids. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, I know Neil ever since we were like 14 years old. We were singing uh, with a group called The Chants, and yeah, uh, many years ago. it was really many many years ago. Hanging around the neighborhood in Astoria and singing, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and then just to come back to this years later when Neil. When we got Neil on the group, I couldn't believe it. I didn't see him for for a long, long time. So you originally come from also from the Queens area. Oh yeah, from Astoria. Queens, from Astoria. Astoria, You're from Astoria. Astoria, Bronx, the Bronx, Ridgewood Queens, and Ridgewood Queens. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I came from Queens myself. And there was, was Ray, obviously from Astoria, and another gentleman who passed away, who John replaced, well, Joe Del Pizzo, Joe also from Astoria. Yeah. yeah. So it was and always right. a big Astoria 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 contingent. It was always. Yeah. Uh, got a couple of more pictures here. Let's take a look at this next shot. Tell me a little bit about this shot. Take a look. Oh wow! Oh yeah, you know that, that one. You, you, you can yeah. tell me about that one. That's uh, Jerry, Butler Jerry Butler in the middle. Yeah. Ray Sanchez and Ray yourself. Uh, yeah, and mm -hmm. tell me, Neil, about that shot. That was uh, we were at the PBS taping. Uh -huh. in two thousand. It was back in two thousand and two, and it was after the uh, the taping, and we were just uh, conversing off stage, and uh, somebody came by with a camera. I said, "Hey, would you get a picture of us with uh, with Jerry? He was the co-host along with Frankie Valley." Yeah, on that but PBS that, yeah, special. Red, it was Red, White, and Rock. Yeah, yeah. That was that version yeah. of the PBS special. Yeah, great, great special. Oh, was, they were great. We had a great time out there. Great yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah. Hey, how about we do uh, another live song? Can we do it here? Another a cappella song? Yeah, sure. What would you guys like to do this time? Want to honor Johnny Maestro? Let's honor Johnny. <coughs> yeah, and uh, the gentleman, Billy, who called Oh, Billy Dodd. Yeah, yeah, Billy Air. Yeah. What, yeah. what do you want to do now? I think we'll do a little Juanita. No, no, Juanita. Yeah, you know, it's a, a strange Johnny thing because we spoke about that. Uh, two weeks ago, he didn't write Juanita. Oh, okay. Right, he didn't write it, but he was a producer on a session with, of course, Al Brown, who was a mm. singer with the Billy Dawn Quartet. Okay. So Al Brown always asked him to come in to do the thing, so he produced those two songs, my Juanita, and of course the flip side, mm. right? Sweetest, Sweetest one. Sweetest one. Yeah. So he did it, and then when Al Brown, when the <coughs> label broke, uh, Billy Dawn grabbed a hold of Johnny Maestro, and of course the group, and then brought them all over for all of those credits hit records. Yeah, and, and, the, and the list goes on and on. And so the rest is history. And the rest is history. Yeah, exactly. So let's do it. We're all set. Here's the okay. devotions. And my Juanita. My Juanita. 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 I love you. Love you, love you, love you, love you. But mina 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 Juanita, oh, I want you, my darling. Won't you please be my angel? 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 Won't you please be my
on Madhouse TV. Don't go away. B&M Performance Cycles, 439 South Main Street, Messina, New York. We handle all parts, accessories, and do all repairs. We can custom build your bike for show or hot rod. We also do New York State inspections on all motorcycles. B&M Performance Cycles, come see us today. B&M Performance Cycles, 439 South Main Street, Messina, New York. We're back here on Mickey B's Jukebox Review, Madhouse TV, and of course the Devotions are here, and Devotions doing a fantastic job doing a little bit of live music, and, and acapella. Tell us a little bit about some of the shows that you guys got uh, coming up. Anything in the future? Uh, we're doing uh, uh, October 12th. We're going to be up in New Rochelle uh -huh. uh, doing a benefit for Dennis Nardone, right. a local DJ up in mm -hmm. the Westchester area. Then I think um, October 20th, we're going to be at Fort Hamilton High School in Brooklyn. Oh, that's great. Um, December 8th, we'll be at Westbury Music Fair. Good. That's uh, so always uh, with the Skyline is. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't even think of everybody. The Dupree's, mm -hmm. uh, Emil Stuccio and the Classics. And Good. Some other groups, I just can't think of everybody right now. Uh, the next day, uh, December the 9th, we're going to be at the Connect Library, which we always do. It's a... Uh, we always get a sell-out crowd down there in Bohemia. At the That's Connecticut fantastic. Library. Do you yeah. do the Book of Love? Okay. Yes, of course. I just want to make sure you do that. To support those libraries, you've got to do that. Also, right? I bring my library card. Then. <laughs> they, they you know, talking, about, <laughs> talking about some of the great groups of rock and roll, there was a group called the Valors, you know. Sure. Oh, sure. And I come Call over tonight. tonight yes. and sure. great yes. and they're, they're, they're exceptional right there on TV. And, of course, uh, I want to watch them. I want you guys to watch this as they do a great song called Say la vie. Watch this one. Yeah. The gentleman said 1985. Clifton Records. And the song Say la vie. John's in love with John. John's in love with Jim. Jim in love with someone who's not in love with him. What was meant to be must be. Say la vie, say la vie. Oh, it's the unsolved mystery. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much right here on Mickey B's Jukebox Review, Madhouse TV, Say La Vie, The Fabulous Velours Devotions. How'd you like that song, huh? Beautiful. Wasn't incredible. that beautiful? Yeah, it was incredible, nice. right? Great, excellent job. I love that song. And of course, we're here by the famous brick wall. This is our, <laughs> you know, which really looks like a real brick wall on, on TV, you know. And people were telling me that. But of course, it's that imitation brick. You know what I mean? Is it really? Yeah, but the devotions are real, which is the most important thing. Are you guys all set to do a song? Certainly are, Mick. What would you like to do? A little Elvis uh, tune. Elvis. Elvis. I love Elvis. Elvis. Bobby, you're going to be playing this? Sure. A little Bobby, yeah? Okay. Sure. Now let's do it right now. Here's a little Elvis music by, of course, The Devotions. <laughs> Only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love with you. Shall I stay? Wouldn't we have sin? For I can't tell falling in love with you like a river flow. The sea, darling, so it goes. Some things are meant to be. Oh, oh. take my hand, don't take my whole life through. For I Bye. 
like a river flows surely to the sea darling so it goes some things are meant to be oh, oh, oh. take my hand go take my Uh, Elvis didn't do it better. Yes. This was fantastic. We have a dear friend that just called in on the phone. Lee Bucoler, are you there? Yes, I am. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you, Mickey. How's Chris doing? We're both fine. We were watching the show and we saw the devotions on there and we just called to say hi and we were talking about the time the devotions came up to our store and did a concert for us live. Tell everybody what the name of that store is. The name of the store is Doo-Wop Shoebop. Highly. And it's on the internet, yeah, yeah. com. Now, I also know you got a dear friend of mine there, Randy Bergen. Randy's yes, there? Yes, Randy's sitting right here next to me. We just had dinner together. We call him Mr. Acapella, you know. Yep, Mr. Acapella. Mr. Acapella. He does a great job, and we miss him at Malloy College. He's a fabulous guy. And yes, we're going to get him on this. We've Malloy College for a long time. We want to get him on this show because Randy's a knowledgeable guy about oh, acapella. Oh, we've got to speak to him about that. And we'll get some groups up here with him. How's that? Yeah, well... I think he's going on a little vacation to Florida for a couple of weeks. So. Okay, nice. very good. We could catch up with him anyway. we got Skype down there, you know. All right? Hey, Lee, we're going to have the guys do another song, all right? We're going to send okay. it out to you and everybody listening to us on Madhouse TV. Talk to you soon. Okay, here's the devotions. If you'd say that you'd be my girl, I love you so, and never let you go. Oh no, never let you go. Oh, gee, if you only knew, only knew just how much I depend. Nothing I wouldn't do oh, 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 gee Won't you love me too Love me too Take these arms That I offer you And I will be Eternally Yours Nothing I wouldn't do oh, gee, Won't you love me 
too, love me too, take these arms that I offer you, and I will be eternally yours. the devotions what a great job and of course g and uh i know that billy dawn smith is listening to that because we had spoken to him earlier and uh, what a fabulous song written by billy dawn smith for of course the crest want to wish uh, mo a great happy birthday to mo from the uh, of course still in style celebrating his birthday and of course we've got al vecchio here joe spano neil o'keefe uh, john williams and bobby patron and we got more from them and the devotions right here madhouse tv with mickey b right after this. Don't go away. Suffolk County Gold Refinery for the highest paid prices for your gold, diamonds, and jewelry with cash on the spot. Visit their showroom for unbelievable prices on fine jewelry and engagement rings. 71 Nobob Boulevard, Farmingdale, 631-777-CASH. Suffolk County Gold Refinery for the highest paid prices for your gold, diamonds, and jewelry with cash on the spot. Visit their showroom for unbelievable prices on fine jewelry and engagement rings. 71 Nobob Boulevard, Farmingdale, 631-777-CASH. For the highest paid prices for your gold, diamonds, and jewelry with cash on the spot. Suffolk County Gold Refinery, 631-777-CASH. It's JP for the Harrison Law Group. A couple of months, a few months ago, actually, uh, I had a family member that had a little bit of an accident. No broken bones, but there was a lot of pain involved. She was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I remembered hearing the guy Tom Mealy from the Harrison Law Group always yelling about a lot of law firms always say, if it's not broke, then you don't have a case. And I said, you know what? Why don't you give Tom a call for yourself? 1-800-INJURY-LAW. She got Tom on the phone, and when all was said and done, she ended up getting a nice chunk of change. So if you or a family member have had any sort of injury, you have absolutely nothing to lose by dialing 1-800-INJURY-LAW and talk to Tom yourself. Look, you have no idea what the laws are. Let Tom, Brett Harrison, and the pros at the Harrison Law Group take care of you. Again, the number is 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Just because it isn't broke doesn't mean you don't have a case. My family is living proof of that. So if you've had any sort of injury, any sort of accident, the first and only call that you need to make is to the Harrison Law Group. 1-800-INJURY-LAW that's 1-800-INJURY-LAW. Now, what are you waiting for? Call them today. We're here live on, of course, the Mickey B. Jukebox Review on Madhouse TV. When I say live, I mean live. It's happening right now between 8 and 9 o'clock. And, of course, some of the shows are archived. So if you happen to see the show and you like to tell one of your friends to watch it, they could catch it all week long by going to, of course, Madhouse TV, Mickey B's Jukebox Review. Click on and you'll catch the show. We're here with the fabulous Devotions. And uh, Neil O'Keefe, I know you've got some great CDs that you've done. Uh, when was the last uh, CD? When did it come out? In June. In June. This June, was no, it? No, June of 2008. That's four years ago. But for all these music, that's pretty new. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not too bad. That's too, too bad. So um, off the, how many songs we do on that? What was the name of the CD? Everyone, Everyone sings. sings. Everyone sings. Everyone sings. All right. And we're going to hear what? What's the next song? Uh, well, uh, we covered a Dupree song with this. So okay. Have you heard? Have you heard? Mm -hmm. Right here? The yeah. Devotions. And you're going to hear it. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Say we're through. Has she found someone new? Oh, have you seen oh, the way she looks now? Does she act the same when she hears my name? Does she say who's to blame? My arms are empty, my nights are long and lonely. I miss her so, miss her so. Be sure tomorrow can only bring me sorrow. I love her so. Rumors come and go Still I'd like to know If it's true won't you tell Please me, tell me. Rumors come and go, still I'd like to know, if it's true won't you tell me, me. Fantastic. Love that Thank song. You. Thank you. Have Thank you, you heard? Me and Joe Spano look like book bands. That's you know right, I mean? pal. Right? I wish you'd have the loud blue jacket that's on. A, I should have got a little bit of a jacket over there and everything else. Joey, that sounded fantastic. Thank you. Thanks, How Mick. many different lead singers in the Devotions? Well, actually, all of us do them. Everybody yeah, does Yeah, leads. we all do some, yes. Uh-huh. Yep. Tell me a little bit about the song Rip Van Winkle. Rip Van Winkle. That's the money maker, as they say, Mick. That song came out, I guess, I think Neil said, 661, 62. Uh -huh. And then Pookie Chadwick says he can make any song a hit because as they first played it for a while, nothing happened with it. And then uh, he said, I'll, take, I'll give it a shot. And when he started playing with it, it started to move up. And I think it was number three on the Billboard charts in yep. 64. And you know what I love about that? That little comedy stuff, the bowling ball. That yes, had, yes, those yes. Those high voices. And yes. you sort of duplicate that in the yes, song. Yes, we right? try to. Yes, yes, we do. Well, let's do it right now. Time is moving on. Okay. Here's the devotions and rip. Van Winkle. Bobby. Boom boom, ba boom ba boom 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 boom, ba boom ba boom boom boom. Rip Van Winkle, Rip Van Winkle, sleep, sleep, sleep. Rip Van Winkle, Rip Van Winkle, sleep, sleep, sleep. Boom boom, ba boom ba boom 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. He fell Rip asleep in the woods Rip one day. Winkle, Spent sleep, twenty sleep, years of his sleep. life that way. Rip Van Winkle, Rip Van Winkle, sleep, sleep, sleep. That naggy one took all of his coin. Winkle, sleep, None of his friends sleep, could he sleep. ever join. Rip Van Winkle, Rip Van Winkle, sleep, sleep, sleep. Those Rip little Van elves Winkle, bowled Rip on Van the Winkle, green. Sleep, dream, 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 dream. dream. Left his nagging wife now. He slept for twenty years. Didn't bother to wake up. He grew along my beard. This is how the story goes. Now listen, my children, and you will hear. He fell and we grew rich one day. Spent twenty years his life that way. Sleep, sleep, sleep. That nagging wife took all of his coins. 
point None of his friends could he ever join Rip Van Winkle, Rip Van Winkle the devotions what a fantastic job and of course i want to thank al vecchio joe spano uh neil o'keefe john williams of course bobby patron playing keyboards tonight for being with us and there's always a song that we like to go out with you know just to take it away and how about we do who's that knocking can we do that sure can we by do that right genies. now by the genies yeah. ladies and gentlemen one more time <clears throat> here they are the devotions and until the next time from mickey b's <laughs> jukebox review on madhouse tv god bless all of you so long everybody Boom, boom, boom. Who's that knocking on my door? Oh, last night and the night before. Boom, boom, boom. Bang, bang, bang. I can't stand that awful clang. Who's that knocking on my door? Who's that calling, calling my name? That brick to my window pane. Boom, 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 bang, bang, bang. I can't stand that awful clang. Who's that knocking on my door? Oh, last night as I lie in bed with the lights down low, I hear a thumping in my head. Boom, 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 bang, 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 on my door. Who's that knocking? On my door, could it be Babel? Could it be Flaw? I got myself in an awful fix when I got involved with those two chicks. Who's that knocking on my door? Do 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 ah, bang bang bang. Do 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 ah, bang bang bang. Do 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 ah, bang bang bang. Thanks, Rick. Fabulous job.